Welcome back to STTS Fab. Uh, today we've got this all back together. Uh, Jason's going to be doing some uh, test welds on it. And as you can see, we got this. We had swivels, but our hard line didn't show up. So we're just going to run a barb, do some tests on it. And we've got some pieces cut here. And uh, pretty much he's just going to be playing around, trying to get everything uh, tuned in and see how it does. We're going to just be doing a simple test run on it. <clears throat> We're just going to have this pedal. We'll have the We're going to turn it down pretty slow. <clears throat> on it. Well, we'll just be putting these two together. I'm just going to be doing a fusion weld on it to make sure it works fine. I've used these on my other jobs and some of them are jerky while you're running the power from the welder through it. So that's all we're going to be doing is seeing the smoothness of it. Um, we haven't done this yet. You're seeing the first thing, so I don't know if the settings and pulses will be right, speeds. It might be good. It might be the other side. So we'll get it set up and do a little welding. Yeah. Gotta get this out. That did not go on straight at all. <laughs> <laughs> This is one thing that I use a lot, the TIG finger. <clears throat> um, they're well worth the money, especially on stuff like this. There is a bunch of knockoffs. We bought them at other places. They're not as good. So it gives you a nice slide. It's insulated so you don't burn your finger. Um, if you do buy one, I do suggest getting the real, real TIG finger, not a knockoff well worth your money and we're not being paid for that that's my opinion okay we'll get this tacked together Okay, for our first little test run, it is, I do have the pulse turned on, and all I'm gonna do is run it around and let it pulse. It took off pretty good. Cool down enough where I can get it. Get the plug out of it. Okay. <laughs> Try to get it where you can see it on the inside. We did not, it was our first shot. It was too cold at the start. Then once it got preheated, but the gas coverage 
is good. First impressions of this thing. It works pretty good. It had no hold up, no hang. When you first start in the middle of it, that other ones I use, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Only did the one on it yet so far. But seems to be a really good machine. We're gonna run a couple more of them, see if we can get the settings a little bit better. So we get a 100% pin on a piece of exhaust pipe. This is 60, 3,000, 60,000 wall. I think it's 16 gauge. So 63. So, yeah. So we're going to run a couple more and let you watch on the way. I do got one question for y'all. Anybody ever have an uneven floor where your chair tries to roll away? <laughs> okay, attempt two. I didn't show you all this before. I'll do it now. I did, we was at 65. I took up 68, we was at two. I went down to one and a half. I'll show you these settings. We're at 20% on the low, 80 or 70% on the high for the pulse. And then that's our pulse per second. <clears throat> I didn't change any of that. We'll get this next one tacked up. See if it does better or worse. I found out these fit down in these grills to hold them together. Okay. Uh, I don't know how well the camera is picking that up. Okay, it's not all the way through in all the spots. It needs to run a little bit hotter for the speed. <clears throat> I would like to slow it down a little bit, but we're almost maxed on the slow speed, so gonna have to bring the heat up so we'll get the next one ready and we'll run that one okay attempt three since this is just a normal knob I did get this the turntable to slow down a little bit so the settings are the same it's just the table itself is gonna go a little bit slower Do 
it right here. Yep, that was me falling. <laughs> <laughs> It's cooled down a little bit. Let me get back here so I can see. Show you all. If you can see. We got really good penetration on that. All the way through. But this little table. Ain't bad. I'm gonna run one more and only well I'm gonna change I've been running a you can barely see that that's 12 now I'm gonna swap it over to a 15 I know a lot of people are going running 15s I've used 12s on stainless forever that's a 15. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But I'm going to run it once with the 15. See if we get any. Still a little warm. See if we can get a little bit better coloring on the outside. <laughs> Okay, only thing I'm doing different is change the cup size. Try not to put it on all the way because it's hard to come out. And I am going to try to when I'm doing it. Instead of pushing it like that, I'm going to bring it in more. So it's a straighter end. Try to cover it with gas on the back side a little bit. Turn the back and gas on. So we'll be at this angle here. We gotta have it. get it for y'all if you all want to see can you see it in the camera uh, not really the can lighting you see that yeah okay you can kind of see the top I honestly haven't looked inside of it too good but there you go um leave in the comments between the 12 and the 15 
It, this does have a little bit better coloring to me. <clears throat> Not much. Tell me what you think. Not a play you. Uh -huh. That's our video this time. We was on basically just testing this out. Only thing I really don't like is you don't got a digital readout. It's going to be really hard to get the speed exactly the same, but it worked really good. Um, impress me. This is Jason. Kevin. From STTS Fab. Don't forget to check out our website, sttsfab.com. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And you all have a good one.